what is up everybody in this video we will gonna make this let's have a sneak peek at what we're gonna make in this video all right so i started my code and here you see the pointer if i press my finger over here and i take my mouse to there and i press left button this will gonna capture my current position of finger and it will gonna draw from there if i press n it will gonna create new blank window if i press q then it will gonna stop drawing if i press w it will start uh, drawing again if i press n it will blank the window if i press escape i will get out through all these windows all right so let's see what is happening in this code of course whole code you will gonna find in below description in github repository you can access that from there first of all i want to thank you all guys i got lots of comments queries and good wishes about this project and i thank you all once again all right below, uh, before uh, going further to this video please press the like button because it took a lot of time to make this code all right so let's start what we are importing over here we are importing just two libraries cv2 and numpy we are using numpy to uh, reshape the array stuff and cv2 to capture the uh, webcam and uh, ca uh, capturing the images from that webcam all right so we will come later to these global variables which we have created and we are going to talk about why he, why we have initialized to these values all right so let's start from here i have created a cat variable on which uh, video capture function is called and zero tells that i'll be using my uh, default webcam available on my laptop before going further to uh, tell you what this function is doing let me tell you what is happening over here because this whole code is connected to this function over here all right over here i have created a infinite loop by saying while true and if the value of k or if i press the escape key then it will gonna break through this to this from this loop and destroy all the windows how the value of k will become the one we will gonna discuss it over here by default i have initialized the value of k to minus one this is the reason i have created variable k all right what is going on over here i am reading the input image and return variable from the cap dot read function which i have created over here and then i am flipping the image then i am converting the image to grayscale to make it usable in the below code all right so and after that i am showing it to the user it is that simple now this enter point name of the window is being connected to all this if the name of this window changes then it will gonna destroy the link from this um this code let's talk what is happening all right when i say enter point it it calls this function um it calls the named window in the cv2 and if any mouse activity happens in that window in that enter point window it will gonna call the function take input which i have defined it over here when it calls the function it passes some variables uh, some parameters some arguments which are event what is happening in the mouse whether i move the mouse whether i press right click button whether i press left click button whatever so many functions and it passes current position of x y of mouse and some more parameters i have called these variables uh, to make it usable in this function by saying global x y and k all right guys when we move further to the code this if statement check if the if this event is equals to the left mouse button down if i press the left mouse button then it will pass the uh, current x and y position to this variable it will override this position this values this doesn't matter which position which value you pass over here just pass something anything um not anything i should say that should um be inside the window like 0 to 650 like my window size is 
480 by 640 pixels i think so so that should be inside in between that all right so and this has value of k equals to 1 so when i am running this loop this will break me out from this loop once i set the current position from that window i hope up to here core code should be understandable to you if not then please replay the video because below over here things are going some more complex i will try to make it simple as much i can all right again we will come back to this variable when uh, we will use it over here let's talk about these values this line of course what is happening over here all right i'm really excited to show you what is going on over here let's talk about this line what is let's break it down because a lot of going to a lot of things going on over here in this line all right um let's start from here this line converting uh, the values which are inserted in this x and y variable means the current position of mouse which i have used to uh, access the current position of mouse actually and this stuff says convert this value of x and y to the array and make sure that value is float 32 otherwise this will gonna throw the error make sure this says d type equals to np dot float 32 all right so, uh, after that i reshaped it why i did it because this is something which is required by calc opti optical flow um, i think it says lucas optical flow um, Okay, um, I think it was Pyramid Lucas Optical Flow Tracking. Uh, I think that is. All right, so I have reshaped. Uh, make sure it is minus one, one, and two. It is always required by it. All right, so nothing too fancy over here. I just converted this value of X and Y to the array and reshaped it to minus one, one, and two. Let's move further. Over here, I have created a window which have size equal to equal to the input image size, means 640 by 480, which is the current height and width of my video captured by my webcam. And I have made it blank because uh, all the values in that um, matrix, in that matrix, in that array is zero. So the window will be black and it is the size equal to the size of um, the input image. Cool. Let's move further. What is happening up to here? Make sure again you understand all the code which I have told you up there. Let's talk about this code. What is going on over here? Let's start by while true. Of course, this is an infinite loop to show the window uh, to show the live footage of webcam what is going on around and over here again it says if cv2 wait key wait for one millisecond and if it is the key equals to 27 value means the escape key then break out from that loop and destroy all the windows and release the capture means release the webcam nothing too fancy over here but something fancy going on around these lines all right so in this line i have read the frame from that capture object uh, capture variable i'm sorry capture variable and i named it new input image and again i flipped it and i converted it to grayscale that is it after converting it to grayscale I used cv2.calc optical flow pyramid Lucas function and there are some arguments going on around here and this returns the value of new points and status and error this returns three variables double of three uh, three values and we um, unpack those values and uh, put those values inside that 
inside these variables. Let's see what we input inside it. All right, so we in insert the previous frame, previous frame which means the old frame grayscale, the new grayscale image which we currently defined over here, then old points which we have accessed from this code and it is over here, old points and uh, let's press control plus i to see what variables we are inserting over here all right so old points and there it says none none is for um, new points but we wanna extract new points from this function so i will say none because we obviously don't have uh, new points so we will say over here none and max level um, I will definitely uh, link below the resource what max level is doing but in short max level starts from 0 and I think ends to 5. 0 means use the original image, 1 says half the resolution, 2 says 1 fourth resolution and so on. And here is the criteria and here it says cv2.term criteria eps and term criteria count. EPS means epsilon and count means number of iterations you want to perform. More number of iterations, of course, more number of more amount of time and better the result. Lesser the value of EPS, epsilon, and faster will be the result, but the result will not run uh, that accurate. So you that is something which you should uh, be experimenting, experimenting with these values. All right, so this up to over here, we are just drawing on the image. Let's simplify this code. All right, so I say i comma j in zip old points and new points. New point, as you can see, has dimension of um, minus one comma one comma two. All right. And old point similarly it have di uh, dimension of minus one comma one comma two and uh, I'm sorry because new points dimension have uh, anything uh, I don't know uh, we will check it later we will say all right so old points have dimension of minus one one comma two and new point have dimension which are um, given by this function to it. We zipped these values and iterated through a for loop and passing those values in i and j variable. And we are using ravel function which is built inside the numpy. We are using j.ravel and i.ravel. What that do? Let me explain. If my um, array is something like this and I say it is um, a is equals to this if I say a dot rebel and I pass in um, x comma y is equals to a dot rebel then this will gonna pass x equals to 1 and y equals to 2 all right you can uh, of course check further descriptions I will of course link them down in the description but that is it in short form all right, so we are extracting the values of x and y position and we are extracting the values uh, from this i variable and j variable and passing them x, y and a, b. Next, what we are doing, this is uh, not necessary. If you want, you can use them over here. I am just um, waiting for key. If I press Q, then uh, stop drawing. If I press W, start drawing. If I press N, uh, reset the mask window, which we have this, uh, made over here. And it says reset the window, create new blank window. If, okay, let's um, over here, let's come over here, STP equals to zero. I have initialized STP variable to zero. Means if STP is equals to zero, then draw the line. If I press Q, then STP equals to 1, then stop drawing the line. If I press W, then STP equals to 0, means again start drawing the line. That is it. And over here, I'm using cv2.line and draw on mask. 
and start from a comma b and go to x comma y starting coordinates and end coordinates color of the line and the thickness of the line over here i am drawing the circle on my current position of uh, tracker um, current position of tracker point which are given by this j dot rel and i am drawing circle which is color this 0 comma 255 comma 0 i think this is green bgr and thickness is minus 1 means it will be filled up with the green color all right i think we made things really simple and here comes the last set of code which we have to discuss all right what we are doing over here i am using add weighted function and passing that to new input image i am creating a uh, think it like i am creating a image which has overlay mask on the new input image which i have uh, read from the camera over from over here and means i am overlaying the mask image to the new input image think it of it like this and these values says i want intensity of mask to be 0.3 and intensity of this image to be 0.7 and this is the gamma means adding up some more uh, parameters tuning the image making it as your choice and over here i am putting the text which says which uh, i am putting the text on mask which is text of q w and n which is the commands showing to the user what you can do with these keys and the current position means the position where this uh, text will start and the font of this text and the size of this text text and the color white color and i am showing it to the user which you must have seen in the teaser or in the start of this video i am giving the user two uh, windows one of mask and one of input image which is overlay of mask on my original image that is it and last but not least these are the most important points if you do not define them over here then a uh, new position will not gonna update actually what i am doing over here you can see this is a infinite loop and this require old image and a new image new image will be something which will which we will uh, be reading from this function and old image will of course always be the old one if we do not define this line it says uh, use the current image and give it to the old image and then miss is we are giving new image to the old image and new image is updating again we are passing new image to the old image and new image is updating over here and we are also updating the old points means new points will be the old points for the next iteration similarly new image will be uh, old image will be the sorry new image will be the old image for next iteration that is it and i have already explained to get out from this loop we use this statement and we destroy all the windows and at last thank you guys for watching this video if you haven't oh my god i can't write further as i have mapped d key to draw in the campus video recorder okay so if you haven't liked the video please press the like button and subscribe to my youtube channel for more stuff uh, fun stuff that is it thank you see you in the next video